This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. One of the toughest fighters uh, that can take a punch, man. I had to be smart in there and uh, dictate the pace and uh, pick my shots. Uh, I, I controlled the fight. Uh, basically, we managed to uh, did what, do what we uh, uh, set the plan out to do. Oh no, he's one of the toughest. Like I said, I could take a strong punch, and uh, you know he took everything and he gave some. I already said, you can't deny me anymore, man. Uh, you've, you've put me, when you don't put me against uh, one of the best fighters, you put me against some of the toughest. Uh, Chia was one of the toughest uh, that could take punches. Now I want the world champs. I want a world title. I want any of the top guys. Don't deny me anymore. No, I won't. I'll be watching, but uh, I won't run in there. Yeah, I think uh, the the work that I put in uh, with with my team, uh, Robert Garcia and the entire Robert Garcia Boxing Academy, has uh, has uh, has showed uh, in every every single fight. Uh, I get a little better, a little smarter, and uh, you know, come out with in, come out with W's. And uh, you know, today I stopped one of the toughest fighters that, from what I've heard, has never been stopped before. You know, and uh, and uh, you know, props to him. He stood in there, stood his ground, and uh, never gave up. He took some hard punches, and uh, you know, uh, I think the referee made a good decision by by stopping it. He could have stopped it a little earlier, but uh, you know, either way, he stopped him and, and uh, did the right thing. I mean, it goes to show a lot. Uh, he's one of the toughest fighters that fought some of the some uh, big uh, champions, bigger champions at 154, um, you know, and it goes to show a lot. Uh, not only can I take some punches, but I can uh, also give them and, and give some hard ones. And I've gotten, I feel like I've gotten stronger, smarter, faster. I've improved in every part of my game, uh, thanks to Robert Garcia. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do, I felt it, but, you know, unfortunately I have to go in there and, uh, you know, help uh, finish the job, you know, but, you know, it just goes to show the, show, uh, the big heart that he has. I'm open to them, uh, that fight, but... I don't need to work to get anywhere. I deserve to be fighting the best now. I've proved it. I'm fighting some of the toughest when I'm not fighting world champions. I'm fighting the, some of the hard-nosed fighters. Uh, and it goes to show, uh, I want a world title uh, fight. I'll take the winner or loser of tonight's fight. Uh, any of the top dogs, uh, I, I need to get in there with them. Not only uh, you know, am I just as good as them, I'm one of the most entertaining fighters there is right now in the welterweight division. Well, from what I felt in camp, uh, from what I felt, you know, throughout these couple of years with Robert Garcia, I've improved, man. And I'm not a, a big mouth where I'm going to go and scream and yell that I'm bigger, better than ever, you know, but I show it. I come and show, and, uh, you know, that's for uh, one to decide. I feel, uh, I feel great, um, and, uh, you know, God willing, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm showing it. I'm showing it in the ring against some of the toughest fighters. So, uh, you know, now, now I need that world championship uh, fight and uh, to become a world champion. Uh, definitely. I mean, I would love a world title fight. If it's not a world title fight, any of the top guys, uh, you know, let's let's give the world some action. Uh, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to entertain. Uh, I, I'm one of the most entertaining welterweights there is, and I just want to put on a show. Uh, you know, uh, everybody likes my fighting style. I don't I don't try to put on a show. I just fight.
You know, we, we worked our uh, position. Um, you know, we, we mixed it up a little bit. He's a, He is a dangerous puncher. He does have a heavy hand. Um, you know, so we were a little cautious, maybe a little too cautious at times. But, uh, you know, uh, our game plan was to be smart, pick our spots, and, uh, you know, break them down little by little. You know, it might have uh, taken me uh, Taking me a little longer than I than I thought it would have, but uh, you know I finished the job. All right, we'll take our last question for Mr. Carlos Toro. Carlos, you can unmute your mic and ask the question. Yeah, like I said, uh, I wasn't surprised that that I hurt him. I'm I'm I'm, I'm very strong. Uh, I feel it in my body. Um, I wasn't surprised that I dropped him, but uh, you know, like I said, our game plan was to be cautious, be smart. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, it might have taken me a little longer than it should have, but uh, you know, I, I I was smart against one of the uh, one one a tough fighter that's gritty that can take punches and uh, you know can can give them. All right, thank you.